In this video, we are taking a look at the Timbuktu Parker Commuter Backpack. Check out packhacker.com for our written review and best buying options, link in the description below. Timbuktu as a company focuses a lot of bags on a bike messenger sort of carry and style, and this bag is no different. It is extremely water resistant. Uh, as you can see, we got this tarpaulin material on the outside that should help everything, all the water kind of run off. And uh, for bike messengers, this is this bottom panel is super reflective. It may be kind of hard to tell, but uh, in person, it is yeah just very reflective. You can really see it uh, from a while away. And I believe, yep, on the bottom of this, if it's really coming down, uh, we have a rain fly, deployable rain fly here. So, you know, this is just stretch out, go over top of the bag, still keeps the nice reflective bottom there. And this one actually has some little reflective decals on the sides. So you are always visible if, uh, you know, again, you're riding your bike around or anything like that. And uh, if you need to, or you're just never gonna use it or you don't like it, uh, this just detaches with Velcro. So you can just move it off to the side and possibly use that pocket for something else. So we'll just toss that off to the side for a minute and tuck this back in. So as you can see, the Rainfly pocket uh, obviously perfectly fits the Rainfly, but if you're not using it, you can just you know use this as a little extra storage pocket. So let's start with the carry of this bag. We'll flip it over here. Uh, we have the same nice reflectors on the front here. Obviously the sternum strap kind of blocks them a little bit, but uh, you know, you get enough there that uh, if, some, if, you are, if somebody's driving at you in your direction, they'll be able to see these reflective strips. Again, very reflective. Uh, the shoulder straps are not super padded. They're not very dense or anything like that. Um, so not the most comfortable if you have this bag really loaded out, but it's got nice breathable mesh so that'll get the job done. And on the back panel though is where you get all your padding. This is crazy dense. I don't know if you can see how far this comes off of the bag, but I mean it comes off a good like half inch. Uh, when we first started using this bag, these were really stiff and it was just uncomfortable. But over time, it's really broken in very nicely and almost kind of, you know, conform to our back a little bit more. So over time, these do improve if you get it right out the box and you're thinking like these are so stiff, they will break in. And these are super porous and breathable. So it'll help with sweaty back or anything like that. And then you get, got this nice airflow of, in the middle. Uh, so the back panel's really nice. It kind of helps pick up some of the slack from the shoulder straps. And also on these shoulder straps, you'll see we have a sternum strap here. Nothing too crazy, uh, you know, just enough for this. You got a nice stretchy material there and just works with a magnetic clasp there so that'll just clip right on and yeah it's enough for just a little bit extra support uh, you can adjust it across these these are not our favorite style of sternum strap um, it kind of just slides on halfway and then there's like almost like a little hook in the middle and the problem with that is the hook kind of digs into the material so hopefully you can see that there's like a little divot there. So that'll just keep kind of wearing away over time. Uh, so that is why it's not one of our favorite sternum strap styles. Also too, if that hook doesn't catch, it doesn't even like slide on all the way. So it's just like halfway on. So it's easy for this thing to pop off and then just like slide right out. Obviously, we still have our sternum strap, so we haven't lost it yet, so not a problem, but just something to be aware of. And then you got this nice little strap keeper, just keeping everything uh, from dangling around it all. And we also have those same strap keepers on the bottom of the shoulder straps here. Just slide those down, provides a nice dangle-free experience. We also have a removable hip belt. So we actually took it off for most of the use of this bag. If you just need a little extra support, it's Velcro and you just slide it through here. 
Velcro it down and you got yourself a little hip belt. Uh, obviously it's not super thick or anything, so it doesn't do the best job. Uh, we found it more really got in the way than anything. So we just kind of took it off and stored it with the rain fly, you know, for the, you know, pieces of the bag we don't use that often. Uh, flipping it over to the sides, we have these very nice stretchy water bottle pockets. You got this elastic piece here to give it a little more room. And uh, yeah, you can fit, this is a 21 ounce hydro flask, just slides right in. Uh, you'll notice it cuts into the capacity of the main compartment a little bit, but uh, not too much. And there is one on each side, so you don't have to decide between taking a water bottle and a coffee thermos. You can have both, with, which we really appreciate. On the sides here also, we have these compression straps. Um, these are more for when the bag is expanded. So right now, even if you compress it, you're, you're not gaining a ton there, maybe a little bit. Um, but if we expand this bag, we can take these off, take the compression straps off and unzip this. And this basically goes around like most of the bag here. And then this expands outward. So one issue we have with this expansion is it makes the bag a little top heavy. As you notice, it doesn't expand at the bottom too much. So the bottom stays the same and the top gets a little more bulky. So it's not our favorite system, but it works well if you need extra. And obviously we'd rather have it be big at the top and small at the bottom than small at the top and big at the bottom. That just makes things hard to reach. So we, we understand why they did it the way they did it. Um, and we'll just zip this back up for now. Because for EDC, um, we didn't really use it expanded too much, but for travel, it's nice to be able to have that little bit of extra room in there. So we'll clip those back on. And we got those. On the front, we actually have three sort of quick grab type pockets here. Uh, starting at the top, you got this nice soft padding, padded liner. So this is great for any more delicate stuff like your phone, uh, just toss that in there. And sunglasses, you know, anything you just wanna keep a little bit safer and don't want anything scratched up. Underneath that, this is just a flap uh, held down with a magnet. We were a little wary of this at first because obviously, you know, if you put anything in here, it could slide out if this magnet comes undone. However, this magnet is very solid. Uh, we haven't had any problems with anything falling out. It closes very nicely. Um, however, the magnets are only about from here to here and here to here. So you do have a little gap in the middle where it's not completely sealed. However, these magnets are quite strong and do a great job of keeping everything together. This is where they have their key leash, nice solid metal one, love that. Uh, sometimes you get the little plastic ones and it just feels like they're gonna break as soon as you uh, put some keys on them. So we like the nice metal with the bright red nylon so you can really see where it is. And also too, a lot of bags put the key clip in the same pocket, like quick grab style, like you would with your phone. We appreciate that the phone and keys are separate because your keys can really scratch up your phone if you just got them bouncing against each other. So that's a nice little touch, shows they put some thought into it, and we like that. On the bottom, this reflective panel is also another pocket. Uh, so again, just a little dump pocket. You can just sort your stuff out between these three, just organize it however you like. Um, there's no internal organization in these pockets. So, you know, just more work is a uh, big, just like dump pouch type situation. Um, the main compartment here opens uh, underneath this welted fabric here. So you can see that covers it up. That just helps it be a little more water resistant. So that's nice, especially, you know, with the rest of this bag kind of being designed around uh, being weather resistant with the rain fly and everything. Um, obviously, you will have to take the compression straps off to completely unzip it. And also, it's best to keep the zippers in the middle 
especially if you have a water bottle, uh, if you have them all the way down to the side here, and then you also have a water bottle, slipping away here. Um, so if you have a water bottle in here and the zippers on the side, you can see the water bottle kind of blocks the access to the zippers here. So you kind of kind of dig underneath them to pull them up. So if you do have water bottles, it's best to leave them in the middle. So if we completely open this up, there's not a ton going on in here. So we have on the front side, just a little Velcro divider pocket. Uh, we've been using this area, you know, for all our tech stuff. So it's good to throw, you know, some bigger headphones in there or a mouse or just any little tech accessories fit great in there. And then, yeah, nothing else going on in here. No other organization or anything like that. We wouldn't have minded a few more divider pockets but uh, you know, they just keep it wide open so you can really organize it how you want with packing cubes and whatnot or pouches or anything like that. And then on the back here, we have a dual access laptop compartment. Um, we had some issues with this just because this one, it's not the quickest access because you got this Velcro cover here. So to you know, put your laptop in, you gotta undo that Velcro and then slide it in. What we actually ended up doing for the most part is just leaving this Velcro down just so it slides in and out easier and you don't have to like deal with that Velcro every time. Uh, the Velcro sticks great, so if you want it nice and secure, you can put it that way. However, it was just a little quicker access to just kind of tuck it behind there and then it's just out of the way and you can slide it in and out no problem. The laptop, compartment also has a side access which again the compression straps get in the way of that as well so you got to take off the compression straps and take it out and then you can slide it in the side however it was a little tricky with a 16 inch macbook we could pull it out easy enough but we had a little bit tricky time finding the right angle to get it back in. So we really mostly use the top access. If you have a smaller laptop, the side access might be a better bet for you. However, with a 16 inch MacBook, it was just a little bit tricky to get out. Uh, but the laptop compartment is very well padded, really protected. Uh, had no problem putting a laptop in here without a case. Felt very comfortable doing that. Um, so yeah, we just had a few little problems with this also. Um, that just reminded me there. There's a few times that the zipper got stuck on the little welting here. So just be careful when you're zipping it up to make sure the welting is out of the way. And again, you're better off keeping these zippers in the middle here. But there you have it, the Timbuktu Parker Commuter Backpack. Check out packhacker.com for more information and best buying options. Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.